Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here. Just got out of the Hasbro Marvel panel. Just show you guys some of the new reveals. You guys probably saw pictures online already, but they just put them behind the glass. Give you guys a quick video over here. New animated two-pack. We have Smite and we have Peter Parker right there. New jockey. Pinless joints, single jointed elbows, but pinless joints, and that smite, especially looking really, really cool to me. I've been picking up all of these. I have all three of those other two packs, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete this for sure. And we got some of the other goodies. They showed, talked about these some more. We saw these X Men figures earlier today, but they have some new stuff behind the glass right over here. Everybody's just gonna try to get a little piece. But if I stick in here. Oh man. Okay, so they put out a prototype. I think it was a fan choice Lady Bullseye from 2011 or something like that, or 2009. And finally, they're gonna release one. Different design over here. Oop, I can't go that way, but she looks fantastic. The deco looks really clean on that. And as was been pretty consistent with their deco for the most part lately. I think that's gonna be a really good looking figure. Wish we could see the lower ab crunch. I was just talking to Dan about that earlier. It's like, ah, I wanna see it on all the figures now that I know you can do it, so why can't we do it? And then we have uh, the uh, uh, the video game Iron Man. I can't even remember the game I didn't play that, but it does look cool. That's pretty dope. How's it going, man? How are you, man? We have Blade. This more modern looking blade looks sick as hell. Really love this. Come out waiting. Their posing is just getting better and better. Really dig this blade. And he does, uh, he has double jointed elbows right there. Very, very cool. We have a very obscure Chris Star right here. Jesse Falcon gave us a little bit of Marvel history about how they're creating characters and then selling toys for them. That looks really cool. Somebody's light is conveniently shining on it to make it look even cooler. <laughs> Actually, do like that. Thanks, man. Because yeah, the light just goes right through that clear plastic. Thank you. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you. And then we have um, oh, I forgot her name already. Chloe. I can't. I can't remember her name. But I like. Cleo. Huh? Cleo. Then we're getting more obscure characters right here. I didn't even recognize until the No Way Home movie. Or was it the Multiverse of Madness movie? It's kind of been a long day again. I was uh, got a little bit of the food poisoning last night, and my brains are kind of recovering from all the vomit and all that shit. It was, it was really fun. It's great. 3:30 a.m. Teaching board. Wow, look at that Daredevil. That looks so sick. I saw that Electra at the local Target, but I already pre-ordered her. And oh my god, this guy looks so badass. Oh man, loving the details on this. Wow, there's a little bit of a gloss to it. Very, very cool. We have the fist right here. Wow, the pinless princess power looks really good with the double joint, the pinless double joints. Thank you, thank you. She looks awesome. Love the face sculpt, flesh tone, she's big. Right here, so maybe one day we'll get an incredible, awesome She Hulk. No lower ab crunch, but they have a lot of nice sculpted detail for the fabric and everything. The chest looks, you know, looks like it's not gonna make anybody mad, right? I think that's a good middle ground right there. I mean, we should all be happy with this. Hey, it's not my fault I was looking, all right? I was looking at the eyes. Here we go. Was this Kid Justice? I called him Marvel Boy by mistake. Looks pretty good. Pinned joints, older body, very obscure figure, but the Luke Cage, that looks really awesome. Now, he doesn't have a mid-torso joint, it's just the waist ball joint right there. I'm kind of curious if, they're, if it was possible for them to add a diaphragm swivel in that figure, but looks like they weren't able to pull it off. Someone got too close to the glass, and you see someone's face smudged all over it. It was this guy, wasn't it? It was this guy. You know better. Causing all kinds of trouble. You know better. Yeah. These aren't X Men. I don't care. How you doing, Robo? Good show? Good. Excellent. Awesome. I'm having a great time myself. 
and then we have the new Vision right here with the most articulation that they've given a Vision. I, I thought the Sunfire body mold was on the last one. That was pretty poseable. I thought that was the Sunfire body mold had the same amount of articulation, but this is pinless Vulcan body mold and it looks a little bit cleaner. And then again, Lady Bullseye looks great. And then we have the MCU figures right here. A lot of people were hoping for a Whiplash. I'm pretty stoked about having Mark II Iron Man, but I would still rather have a Whiplash, but it looks really good. Banner looks really good over here too. Really nice looking head sculpt. And then they gave us a new, uh, or sorry, thank you. They gave us an old Black Widow figure with new paint deco. And I think this looks all right, you know, I, I, I like how it looks. I'm not super thrilled over it, but I, I like it. It looks all right, man, so. It's very, very new, so. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More Marvel Legends over there. They teased the No Way Home Doc Ock. I saw that. And they also, I mean, they teased the Mother Box thing or whatever. The, 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 the time multiverse traveling device thing so yeah all right you guys We've got century productions over there thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more san diego comic-con 2023